This video is about Todd's favorite thing. Turbos. Love turbos. <laughs> Let's talk about turbos. We're talking about turbos. All right, this is a giveaway truck. This is a turbo system we are putting on this truck. And like the engine, like the fuel system, we kind of went a little overboard. That's because it's fun to go overboard. If you're going to put performance parts on, put big ones on. <laughs> <laughs> so we, the, the way this whole thing started was we've been working on this aggressor line of turbos. Yeah, we have our aggressor 62 for second and third gens, and they've been awesome. They've been just hanging in there like a champ. Now, we don't, have, we don't have anything bigger in the aggressor yet, but... The thing is, is we've been working on large S400s. The Borg Warner SXE 400 turbos are awesome. They're awesomely expensive. I mean, they're very expensive. And so what's happened in the aftermarket with ourselves and other people as well, this is a big hole to make an affordable S400 based turbo, a non-SXE turbo. Because so the Borg ones are over $2,000, most over, of they're them. They're well over $2,000. And, and it's like, I mean, you're getting into like Garrett, Garrett territory. Garrett ball bearing territory yeah. that, you know, and it's like, it's, you know, I love Borg, but I, I think they price themselves out of the market on their own turbo. Yeah, so whatever the case is, is there's quite a few companies and have done this. And so we wanted to do one as well. So we, we like our 62 line. We've got a good supply of parts for turbos. And so we wanted to put together a large S400 and we're going to put it on the giveaway truck. So we actually put together an 88 millimeter uh, charger S400. Because that's a monster turbo. That's way more than necessary for 800 horsepower. So this is the big <laughs> turbine, the big... 96 slash 88 yep. millimeter turbine 88 um, inducer comes with a deep big t6 housing mm -hmm. yeah it's, and, a, it's uh, a monster turbo and then the compressor 88 it's, what's the big diamond 120 or something yeah, like that i forget the number on that one garrett's are easy because they tell you in the, in the name of the turbo <laughs> but anyway. anyways it's, it's it's brand new and then what, what's the little turbo we're pairing it with the turbo we're pairing it with is the borg warner sxc 366 I just like the 6688. You got even number 6688 turbo. I think it's a match made in heaven. So <laughs> we're doing the 6688 large turbine uh, to make the power we want. I wouldn't try to make this kind of power on a small turbine wheel. Now this is internally gated. Yep. So which, very, what are the advantages really quick between internal and external? An external wastegate is an awesome setup for a race vehicle. There's a lot more maintenance. There's a lot more potential for leaks, exhaust leaks. And they get, I mean, I have to take my wastegate off and lube it and make sure it moves freely. And I do that often. And so on a race vehicle, it's a great idea. On a, on a street vehicle, I like an internal gate because they're maintenance free. Uh, there's not any extra potential leaks because this is going right into the exhaust stream of a turbo. So for a street truck at this power level, I don't think an external gate is warranted. I think we could make more power with one, but I think it comes at a price that's not needed at the power level we're trying to make. Now, truth be told, if you try to make 12 or 1300 horse with an internal gate, We've seen guys burn the gates off, just start mm -hmm. putting nitrous and stuff. So yeah. there's a place for external gates. But oh, yeah. if this is a street truck, which this is, man, the maintenance just isn't worth the, no. the, the hassle. Mm -hmm. So the internal gate is there. It's simple. There's no leaks. and uh, That's awesome. We wanted to do a really cool, you know, in-your-face awesome turbo system. And so we on this one, most turbo systems for streets, I like to keep the, both batteries in place. I want to make a very functional turbo system. But for this guy... The Street Ripper, we did the cool side-by-side -side mount. This is You've seen these before, we didn't invent it, but it looks awesome. He's got two awesome turbos right in your face, the big one front now, and center. Did, we had Shad doing Shad, all this our, out our there. Guy, yeah, we got a new little fabricator, good little welder Shad's out there. And uh, he, he did a really, really good job.
it's well designed, it's well built. Yes. It's gonna gonna hang right in there. So now there's people wondering, well, what kind of power can you make with this aggressor 48? Yeah, which we didn't even know, because like I said, we just got this one put together, and uh, so as luck would have it, our employee Josh uh, was doing some uh, testing on some some, some, turbo testing some turbo testing on his common rail on his street truck. Yeah, maybe you saw that on Instagram. We kind of live that, and we and uh, hopefully you've seen that. But we he blew up a Borg Warner S488 in spectacular fashion. <laughs> An aftermarket one yep. from a reputable company. Yeah, that... and and to be fair, that was a lot of user error in that blow up. I'm not. It was not a, a turbo failure. That was a user error, but it did blow up in spectacular fashion. But it, it definitely got overspun. But I mean, I mean, still, I mean, he was well north of 1600 oh, horsepower yeah. when it blew, it blew up. up. So he, I mean, that he, charger didn't owe him anything. No, he did a good job. And then he had a Garrett 85 millimeter turbo that in we, the 50 line, GT 50 so line. GT 50 line, and so that blew up but in that one i blame on the turbo because he was much smarter in his wastegate control and his nitrous uh you know programming so i do blame the turbo being weak on that one and so that one blew up right around 1600 horsepower and now he's out of turbos and so we're like and it was midnight or whatever so everybody went home so Overnight, Todd and I are like, man, Let's we've got a 488 out there that Shad's been fabbing with for the last couple of weeks. Let's do and some extreme durability let's testing. Let's do some durability <laughs> testing on this turbo. So we threw it on this truck, and we, we were wise. It made very similar power. They're often like 50 horsepower on fuel only. And about 11, 1100, 1150 on fuel. range on fuel only. So it, now, it's it, a common rail. Yeah. They, they seem to... He had more timing. Like, he had more fuel. I mean, so... But the turbo is more than capable of 800 horsepower. So I think we're going to get 800 horsepower pretty easy on this truck. But so then we just started to work the nitrous up to see what kind of power it could take. We wanted to see how hard we could push it. We didn't want to blow it up again. We kind of blew up two turbos the night before. It's, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it makes a good video. But when you're here, it, it makes everything hard. you got to push the truck off the dyno. You, you can't drive it. It's dangerous. It it's, yeah. could get stuff in the motor. It's just not smart to try to blow things up. But we did want to push it and see how hard we could go. So we actually ended up pushing that thing clear up to 1,625 horsepower. And boom, hit 1,625 just like that. And so the charger is durable. I wasn't trying to beat the high dollar chargers. I was trying to see how if we could come close. And it... I, it was more durable than the Garrett. I will say that with with uh, confidence. I think the Borg we blew up was more user error, not. Yeah, it, it didn't necessarily get a fair shake. So maybe yeah. that high dollar custom one would have went a little I think higher. It, I think it would have been just fine had we not had he, had he had the wastegate set set correctly. a little bit a little bit looser. So anyway, the the turbo is more than capable of 800 horsepower. So lesson learned from all this is if you were to put it. Take this turbo off and put it on a common rail with nitrous as a single turbo. You could double waste it. 16, you could get 16. double what the, we're, we're, we're going to send do. this out the door at. But honestly, the 66, like with the 69 on the Junker, you made it over 700 horsepower. Just as with a this, single. That's a single. So we have a 66, which is very dang close to 69. You ran already. So even the, the small turbo alone could almost do 800 horsepower this truck. So then, of course, let's pair it with a monster. <laughs> Only makes sense. Let's put it with a beast. So turbos for this, they are a custom one-off uh, build. Side by side, they look amazing. I'm, I cannot be more happy with the Shad and how he put these together. It just looks awesome. And whoever gets this, like I say, 800 horsepower will come very easily. I'm very excited about now, this. Now, for a couple of you guys that call them twin turbos or compounds or whatever, there are guys asking, why are we so obsessed with compound turbos? A lot of guys I say, why are you I think you're the ones single? obsessed. I'm not as obsessed as you, but this is one of Will's hot buttons. There's two <laughs> reasons I like compound turbos. One. 12 valves like pressure ratio. They just seem to run better with, oh, I you with a lot name. of boost. I thought you were talking about the name, twin versus comma, sorry. The other reason we wanted it on this truck is two turbos really quiet the exhaust note. Oh, absolutely. And it, it just makes the truck a lot more pleasurable to drive. If you ever drive in a big single, even with a brand new common rail and you tow with it and they drone, they're nasty, wow. compounds are just way better for something you're going to put some miles on. Yeah. They're just, they're, they the, are. The turbos harness waste energy, both heat and sound. They used to stamp muffler on turbine housing so they could qualify as a muffler on like off-road applications. They don't let that pass anymore, but they do take up a lot of sound. And so, yeah, you're absolutely right. Way more pleasurable to drive. So that's the turbo system. 
do I want it? Yeah, I, it's a lot bigger than my daily driver has. <laughs> cool. I, I want that turbo assist. So everything on this truck, I wish I could uh, Put have on. on my vehicle. Maybe I could some. Maybe someday I'll we'll grow get, up we'll, and get a we'll make get it real well turbo. Someday. But this is an awesome turbo setup, compound twin turbo setup, however you want to call it. It's going to be a beast. You get to see the dyno soon, and uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Anyway, I hope you're following along. Don't remember. Don't forget to get this truck. All you got to do is spend a buck. Spend a buck, win a truck. You've probably seen it online. Every dollar you spend in our store between now and May 15th is an entry into this truck. So whether it be you want a t-shirt because you don't have anything we sell for something you need, or if you have a truck and need some parts, <clears throat> get some Rebuild your truck, thing. you need a cam, turbo, whatever, yeah. gets you a lot of entries. And like I said, a lot of stuff's on sale too. I mean, just it's a good just time to get, get what you stuff. need. Great, great opportunity to yeah. get some entries in that giveaway. Anyway, I hope you guys are excited about this turbo system because I know I am. And this is going to be a sweet truck. I can't wait to drive it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.